Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Welcome to downtown Chicago. We in Chicago. Uh, so here's a pandemic update. It is 12 noon. 12 noon on a Thursday. And I was afraid we weren't going to be able to film because there's going to be too many people. Right. I, I've, honestly, I've never seen it like this. Hey, welcome to Daily Plaza. Got our Picasso in front of us. Chicago City Hall. Another Picasso across the street. This is lunchtime. Again, still, nobody is here. Normally, right now, this would be the uh, holiday market that would be oh, running right Chris now. Kringle. Chris Kringle. Yes, the Chris Kringle market. Wow. Yeah, there's just no way they'd be able to do that. No. Right now. That's. Wow. All right, I am on State Street in front of Marshall Fields at lunch on December, what are we, 3rd? I'm just holding this low because uh, I don't want the camera, but here's Marshall Fields. And all these windows, like there's just people supposed to be here looking at the windows. That's the Christmas windows this year. That's incredible. What? There's no... Uh, this is Marshall Fields during Christmas. Pretty low energy. <laughs> low energy. Low energy. Yeah. yeah, you can say that. Low energy. <laughs> Alright, well, we made it over to the Bean. This is Chicago's Christmas tree for this year. I did not know that this would be here. Nobody's on the ice skating rink. Oh, oh my gosh, the bean is closed. Well, what's another fun fact about the bean? It's the most photographed part of Chicago. Oh, really? It may be the most photographed in the United States. I may be wrong on the whole United States, but I'm not sure. So that's the bean on a beautiful sunny day. Wow, it's uh, you're never gonna get it with no one there. Yeah. So, it's a unique photo right there. I have not been here in years. How exciting. Not even on. No, it's never on in the winter. Water freezes. Great view of the city. Ah, you can see that crazy building now. Boy, that's a big joke. We're going to head out over there on the way back. Get over here so we can see the Sears Tower in the distance at least. I don't know much about Buckingham Fountain. When it's on, it's pretty beautiful. All right, so we have a 360 camera. One would say this is a pretty good 360 op moment. This is beautiful.
Welcome to the Field Museum. Temporarily closed. So this is the back entrance to the Field Museum. And if we spin around, that faces Soldier Field. That is pretty cool. Wow. I'm just kind of overwhelmed by the size of the piece of bronze. The sculpture really impresses me. And that impressed me. Well, this may seem strange, it is to me anyway. This is the south side of McCormick Place. This is the entrance to Highway 55. Uh, Lakeshore Drive is right over there. And this little piece of ground is a bird and butterfly sanctuary south of McCormick. This is really neat. I've never been out here. This is the Burnham Wildlife Corridor. Down here where the land jetties out there, that's 31st Street where we're headed. This is why we have a 360 camera. Hey. Good. <laughs> There's the planetarium. It's a good 360 moment. We're walking along the Shedd Aquarium. Sun has set. Getting some colors out here. We come around a Navy Pier. Boy, this, the orange in the sun is really making these colors pop out. I hope that translates. These are really nice greens. That crazy building has a rainbow effect going. This is pretty cool. Just can't get enough of the view behind the uh, Shedd Aquarium. Especially with the sun going down and hitting the buildings in the way that it is. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! That's special. Hey! Hey! Hey, Hike360. What was your, before we head into the city, what was your favorite part of this hike so far? My favorite part has been 31st Street Harbor because I've never gotten the vantage point uh, up Chicago from that angle before. I don't really walk around in that area. And uh, so it was a new experience and then those are my favorite kinds of experiences. What about you, Hike360? I have to say South of McCormick is pretty neat. Uh, I'm excited about that. This is pretty excellent right here, right now. And I, you know, we've seen this before. Yeah. And it's still just so impressive to watch the sun go down and see the city turn on. Completely agree. The contrast between day and night, or day and uh, dusk, uh, is, is very noticeable, very cool. Uh, definitely brings out different vibes as, as time goes by. As time goes by. <laughs> this is really a beautiful walk. It's on both sides of the river. What a great job. This is the part that most people don't go down. 
all the restaurants are farther up. And we are at Michigan Avenue with the Wrigley Building. The purple is the Intercontinental Hotel. And uh, I can't really see the Apple Store underneath the bridge, but Apple just put in a brand new gorgeous store. These, these buildings here are just so fascinating to me. This one here right next to the Mart. This used to be a tuft of dirt. Oh. It was like an outdoor taxi stand. What? Otherwise just dirt. But that, I mean, that's a radical different use. The train track, see the portal windows there at the bottom of this? The train goes through there. So this is built over train track over the metro line. Oh. I don't know what kind of permits they had to pull to make that happen, but the result is pretty unbelievably excellent. Something's going out there. 